the life of Jesus is the Garden of Gethsemane. This is where Jesus came and prayed. My name is Nicodemus. I'm a Pharisee. Jesus took three of his disciples with him. He took Peter and he took John and James. They were brothers. He said, now you stay here while I go and pray. My soul is troubled and they're dead. Well, they stayed and he went a little further down to pray. And he prayed, he said, Father, if this cup of troubles can pass from me, let it. But not my will, but your will be done. He finished praying and he went over and they were asleep. He said, Peter, wake up. He said, can't you pray with me for an hour? He said, you need to pray that you do not fall into temptation. And he said, the spirit is willing, but the flesh, the body is weak. He said, stay awake and pray and watch for me. So Jesus went back and prayed a second time, and he prayed, Father, if this cup can pass from me, the, if the only way is if I drink it, then your will be done. He finished praying. He went back. And they were asleep again. He said, Peter, wake up. Their eyes were heavy. They couldn't hardly get awake. Jesus left them. He went back and prayed a third time. He prayed the same prayer again. When he goes back, they're asleep. He said, go ahead and sleep. You need your rest. For tonight the Son of Man will be betrayed. And he said, arise, let's go. My betrayer is coming. A crowd of people came. They were armed with swords and clubs. And in the middle of them was Judas Iscariot, one of the twelve disciples. Earlier that evening, Judas met with the high priest, a Pharisee such as myself, and the temple guards. And they discussed how to betray Jesus so that they could arrest him. And Judas told him and said, Well, I will give you a sign. The man I kiss will be Jesus. So the Pharisees paid him 30 pieces of silver to betray him. So as the crowd came up closer, Judas came out from the middle of the crowd and he walked up to Jesus and he said, Rabbi, which means teacher, and he kissed him. And Jesus said, Friend, do what you came to do. Well, the crowd grabbed Jesus and they were real rough with him and they pulled their swords out and their clubs and they grabbed a hold of him. Just that time, one of the disciples took out a sword and cut one of the ears off of the guards. Jesus said, Stop! Put down your sword. Don't you know he that lives by the sword will die by the sword? He looked at the crowd. He says, why do you come arrest me tonight? You come with swords and clubs like I'm a criminal. And all this time I've been teaching in the synagogues. You could arrest me any time. Why now? And they bound him up with chains and took him off. The disciples, they just scattered and they deserted Jesus. Your next room you'll be going to is the crucifixion. I'm going to leave you with a little trinket here to take with you. There's a pair of lips for a kiss that betrayed Jesus. Coins to remind you of the 30 pieces of silver. <laughs>